The Marilyn Manson cases are a targeted and orchestrated hoax against a very well-known artist under the guise of the hashtag MeToo movement. Evidence of this has been brought to light through court documents filed by Marilyn Manson, as well as other sources. To recap, let's take a look at the participants in the form of a pyramid scheme and later discuss where the cases are at now. At the top of the pyramid sits Evan Rachel Wood, actress and Marilyn Manson's former fiance. Directly beneath her is her former partner, Ilma Gore, an artist who is mainly known for her controversies surrounding her political ideologies, as well as being known for being a grifter. Here, I put Ilma below Evan because Ilma never associated with Marilyn Manson or even knew of the rumors surrounding Manson's short film he created named Groupie until she met and was in a relationship with Evan Rachel Wood. The movie Groupie by Marilyn Manson was the basis of her involvement in this hoax, and if it wasn't for Evan, Ilma Gore would probably not even be a player in this. Next are two women who sued Marilyn Manson in civil court and have been a part of this hoax's development. Esme Bianco, former girlfriend of Marilyn Manson, an actress mainly known for her role in the Game of Thrones, and Ashley Walters, former personal assistant to Marilyn Manson. Both Evan Rachel Wood and Esme Bianco testified in front of the California Senate in 2019 in support of the Phoenix Act. Ashley Walters was also spotted in attendance through photographs, as well as in Evan's documentary, Phoenix Rising. Also, it is known that Walters provided contact information for potential recruits for this hoax, as all of the women who have accused Manson are all from the same time frame that Ashley Walters was his personal assistant and would have had knowledge of their personal information. Below Bianco and Walters are model Ashley Smithline, who had a brief encounter with Marilyn Manson lasting not more than a week, and a woman who goes by the pseudonym of Jane Doe, who claims to have had a brief relationship with Marilyn Manson. Both of these women filed civil lawsuits against Marilyn Manson in court. While we have heard very little from Jane Doe, we have heard a lot more from Ashley Smithline, whose cover story was featured in People Magazine, and who also went on the talk show The View with her attorney at that time, Jay Elwanger, to discuss her claims of SA at the hands of Marilyn Manson. Finally, at the bottom of this scheme, are others who made various degrees of accusations against Marilyn Manson, but who never filed lawsuits against him. Many of these accusers have rarely spoken out about Manson since the allegation drop on February 1st, 2021. So now that we reviewed the players in this highly orchestrated hoax, let's talk about where the cases are at now. Out of the four lawsuits that were filed against Marilyn Manson, only one remains, and that is the lawsuit of Jane Doe. Ashley Smithline's lawsuit was tossed by the court early January of this year due to not responding to the court's request to know if she planned on representing herself or if she was hiring a new attorney to take the place of Jay Elwanger, who requested to be removed as her attorney on file and was granted his request. Her lawsuit was thrown out by the court without prejudice, meaning she could refile if she wants to do so. Ashley Walter's case was previously thrown out by the court as well, with prejudice, unlike Smithline. The court said she could not refile, so Walters took her case to the Court of Appeals to try to get that decision overturned. However, in recent developments, Ashley Walters' appeal was denied due to her legal team's lack of filing an opening brief by the deadline. The latest news surrounding Esme Bianca's lawsuit in federal court against Marilyn Manson for allegations of SA as well as allegations of human trafficking is that Esme Bianco requested a settlement with Marilyn Manson instead of going forward with her lawsuit. Marilyn Manson agreed and it has been made official that the lawsuit is dismissed. The terms of the settlement are unclear as they have not been addressed to the public and the public has had mixed feelings about this settlement. Some people are wondering why Marilyn Manson would agree to settle if he is indeed innocent and others are concerned he is making himself look guilty by doing this. So let's discuss some reasons why it made sense for Marilyn Manson to agree to settle this case with Esme Bianco. The first reason is that Marilyn Manson recently requested the court to put a stay, in other words, a hold, on this legal case while a criminal investigation is still pending against him. We know that Esme Bianco was the main focus of this criminal investigation, 
And while we expected to hear the results from the LADA as to whether or not charges would be pressed, many months have gone by without any determination being made public. One would think that due to the political environment surrounding the hashtag MeToo movement, that if the investigation showed any criminal wrongdoing at the hands of Marilyn Manson, that charges would have been filed quite some time ago. The fact that it is still pending speaks volumes. With zero criminal findings, Esme's civil case was crumbling. This could be a reason why she wanted out, and being that time is money, Manson agreed. In the long run, it is possible it would have cost Manson more money to pay for all of the legal fees than whatever he agreed to pay Esme Bianco to settle. Civil cases are very costly, and Marilyn Manson has a high-priced and very reputable legal team defending him. So financially, this was most likely a smart move for him to make. It's also very important to realize what all Manson has gone through mentally and emotionally over the course of these two years. And to not still be facing Esme's lawsuit can ease his mind and help improve his mental state and outlook. Lastly, it's important to mention that in March of last year, Marilyn Manson filed his own lawsuit against Evan Rachel Wood and Ilma Gore, the ringleaders of this hoax, and this is his primary focus. With settling Esme's case, it clears the path for Marilyn Manson to expose this hoax for what it really is and to seek justice for having his career and livelihood dismantled for others' personal gain and desires. Fans and supporters of Marilyn Manson have labeled 2023 as his year of vindication. And as you can see so far, he is off to a great start. We will keep you all up to date on any future developments, and we hope this helps clear up any questions you may have had regarding the accusers and or the status of these cases.